first statewide TV ad of the California Senate race to feature Steve Garvey is out. But it's not done by Steve Garvey's campaign. They don't have enough money to do that. Instead, it is by Congressman Adam Schiff. Two leading candidates for Senate, two very different visions for California. Steve Garvey, the leading Republican, is too conservative for California. He voted for Trump twice and supported Republicans for years, including far-right conservatives. Schiff's ad, likely designed to bolster Garvey with Republican voters. Most political experts believe Schiff would have a much easier time defeating the former baseball player in November than he would defeating fellow Democrat Katie Porter. It's a similar tactic Gavin Newsom used in his race against John Cox and Rob Bonta used to lift up Eric Early in the California Attorney General's race. Joining us now is the Congresswoman from Irvine, Senate candidate Katie Porter. Congresswoman, I know you're fired up about this. What's your reaction? Well, this election is about Californians choosing their next senator. And I think that instead of playing cynical political games and trying to um, take that choice away, we should be focusing on communicating directly with voters about what we're going to get done for California. You think Adam Schiff is scared to run against you? Well, I will tell you that Mr. Schiff has talked a lot, and he's a you know, self-described defender of democracy. Um, we have a lot of races on the line in California, um, and he's spending millions of dollars here to lift up a Republican um, in the hope of having a not a competitive race all the way through, um, through November. So I think this race is about Californians making their own choice, and you know I think it's important for Californians to know that this is a decision that's going to be up to them. They should see through these kind of cynical political games, these kinds of strategies suggested by consultants and voters should make their own choice. Schiff's team uh, released the following statement to us when we asked for their response. It says, quote, no one in this race has fought harder than Adam when it comes to protecting our democracy, our economy, and our planet. Steve Garvey will be a rubber stamp for Donald Trump's extreme agenda if elected. California voters deserve to know the differences between the two top polling candidates, although all the recent polls uh, seem to show you and Garvey tied. Um, he also points to a 2018 ad that you ran when you were running for Congress for the first time, focusing on the Republican incumbent at the time, Mimi Walters, over the rest of the field, because you were running against other Democrats at the time. Here's that ad. Mimi Walters voted to defund Planned Parenthood and ban a woman's right to choose. And Walters voted with Donald Trump 98% of the time. Then there's Katie Porter, consumer protection attorney, mother of three. I'll stand with Orange County women and families 100% of the time. Obviously, Walters was an incumbent, so it's a little different, but that does seem similar, doesn't it? Look, I think there are important differences. We all knew that Walters was going to be on the ballot. She had won the prior election um, by something like 18 points. Um, and I think you see in Mr. Schiff's statement, disappointingly, um, an effort to say that there are only two top polling candidates. Um, you yourself, Alex, know that the polls have shown a very close race here. It's a very competitive primary. Barbara Lee, me, Garvey, and Mr. Schiff. There are four of us who are running really strong campaigns, and it's up to voters to choose who they want to represent them. Yeah, and just to be clear, I mean, all the recent polls, including the one out today, show you and Garvey in a back and forth, basically statistical dead heat. So to say it's just the top two is just factually inaccurate uh, at this it's point. It's factually inaccurate. Yeah. And I, I think that's where this is disappointing, and that's where cynicism about Washington comes from. I hear this over and over again. People want to know the truth. They want the facts. And so trying to eliminate, we only have 25 women senators. California is at risk of not being represented presented by a woman for the first time in 30 years to, to erase that, to erase the efforts of a, a strong competitive woman candidate in this race, it's disappointing, I think. And I think voters can judge for themselves what's, what's at stake there. Um, one of the big differences between the two of you is over the issue of earmarks. Earmarks for people that don't know are basically where members of Congress can request money for a specific project in their district. You say that that's rife for corruption. You don't think that that should go forward. Adam Schiff uh, does embrace earmarks. Here's what he said last week on our political show, The Issue Is. Any senator who says, I'm not going to do that, um, when every other senator in the country is, is saying basically, I'd rather that money go to New York, I'd rather go to Ted Cruz in Texas, I'd rather go anywhere but California. What do you say well, to that? Well, 
Disappointingly, Alex, um, Representative Schiff has his facts wrong again. Um, Ted Cruz doesn't even participate in the earmark process, and neither do some of the Democratic senators. Here's the facts, and people can judge for themselves. Senator Shelby from Alabama took home almost twice what our California senators did. Senator Graham from South Carolina took home $100 million more than either one of our California senators. We need to have a system that reflects California's size and our needs, and a system that's more about letting politicians get their name on projects, go to award ceremonies, cut ribbons, give away things to people who have supported them, that's the opposite of really fighting for the entire state of California, advocating for California's biggest challenges like housing and climate, which is what I've been focused on. Well, uh, voting starts real soon, <laughs> so we appreciate you coming on and sharing your views. Congresswoman Katie Porter, always a pleasure to talk with you. Thank you, Alex.